Hi there everyone, this is darkside 2 k 7 aka Sonic Sky Caesar. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday and whatnot. So, as you may know, Indiana Black, aka Frost, has met who have managed to go on a dumbass yet unhinged rant about sexism in gaming. And the reason why she did that crap was was because people don't find her bangable. I mean, looking at her photo, looking at her photo, I mean, yeah. And this was, and this was during the relaunch of G4. You know, the classic G4 that's like, you know, the ESPN for video gamers and for video games and for video gamers. Yeah, she decided to blow that fucker, fucker up for miles away. Ever since then, it's been a downward spiral. And to the point where many employees, where, where many employees have been hit with massive layoffs. Everyone, all the employees who work behind the scenes, they got cut. All except for her. And because she shows no signs of, of talent, of, of tack whatsoever, she decided to post a fucking tone deaf me celebrating her continued employment. I wish I was joking. I really wish I was, but uh, let me go. Let me talk about it. G4, I mean, it's for Bounty into Comics, by the way. G4 host Frost posts tone deaf me celebrating her continued employment after network hit with massive layoffs. In a stunning display of tone deafness, particularly for someone whose own access up to their name played a significant role in getting here, G4 Hurst Indiana Black, aka Frost, respond to the network's recently announced sweeping staff cuts by certain means celebrating the fact that C herself did not face the chopping block. As per usual, three sources familiar with the businesses who spoke to, to Kotaku, at least somewhere between 20 to 30 staff members were laid off at G4 TV on September 14th. These staff cuts reportedly took the took the effect took the affected by completely surprised, with many even showing up to set with the understanding that they would be working as normal, only to be meet with both the news that their respective programs have been canceled and one-on-one -on -one layoff discussions with the network's H HR staff. Though details regarding the exact intent of these layoffs are currently unclear, those who were let go are supposedly set to receive anywhere between 16 weeks and 6 months of service, ba service based on their tenure with, the, with Comcast, G4's parent company. According to the said sources, the network has been in a rough financial shape for quite some time, with managers having, having been saddled with the honor of looking for any and all ways the network could, could reduce the cost, including by letting go of the staff. Curio curiously, these cuts came on the heels of the network announcing a new state New slate of additional programming, including an X Play hosted, an X Play hosted, the Office style parody of God of War entitled God of Work. To this end, one insider who spoke to Kotaku opinion, I cannot truly imagine the company continue to produce our slate of content without the people we lost today. Staff were also said to have been working. Without a coherent sense of direction, a frustration and confusion was supposedly erupted when now former G4 President Russell Aron's, who herself abandoned ship earlier this, this year, admitted that the network was facing financial hardship and, in an attempt to write the ship, set goals for upcoming year, which were widely considered to be completely unfeasible. Not n notably, not only did Aaron's lead the network a, l a little under the year after she accepted the position of president, but her exit came just roughly five months after the simu similarly volunteer departure of G4 senior VP Blair Herder. Taken to Twitter the day after these cuts were dev devolved to the public, Frost, whose infamous sexist in gaming rant will undoubtedly be cited as the major factor in the network's struggles, pretty much, 
pretty much, responded to the news by sharing a meme which featured a lizard with a crown, the deal with it glasses, a joint with bold text reading, I survived, superimposed over its image. Let's play some games, yo! Frost added. Oh. Oh, boy, oh my f fucking god. Yeah, 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 deal with it. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, see, just put that there just to show off. Just to fucking show off, because, of course, of, of course. Oh fucking course because common sense common sense be damned You know I was wondering that when I saw the picture of this Yeah, I mean it is just no surprise the fact that Frost decided to Post that fucking meme and celebrating that she wasn't on the cop on the chopping block. That's a slap across the face of many of the people, of the twenty to thirty people who lost their jobs at G4. And and it's funny how she she's celebrating that she didn't cut, even though she was the she was the one who went on that stupid sexism and gaming rant, which by the way is was the one that really ruined ruined G4. But. Now the reason now I have a theory. It's a bullshit theory, yes. It's a crazy theory, yes. It's a theory that I came up with at work, yes. But I think the reason why she can't die, she didn't die, they didn't she was on the chop up because A, if they were to fire her, then 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 the woke Twitter brigade will attack you for calling them sexist and all that other bullshit. B, she got some dirt on the on people running at G4 and the host. Or C, or C, a combination of the two. It's got to be the combination of the two. But man, her, what she Pete, what she tweeted that was super toned down. There's subtle. There's subtle and it, there's subtle. Uh, there's there's a subtle response to the whole thing, and then there's and then there's a um, lack of empathy, and what she just posted was pretty much the fucking latter. I mean, but then again, see, but then again, that's no surprise right there. It's like this is what happens when you hire motherfuckers like her who don't really who don't who isn't really gamers. They claim that they're fucking gamers, but they they claim they part of a fun. Uh, part of a fan, uh, part of a group, they get into where they want to be, and then they just completely destroy it and change it, so that it's only them, only them and people with the right kind of politics to, to join that project and get rid of people who don't think alike. It's like a fucking hive, it's like a fucking hive mind, man. It's either you gotta think like us, or you're no longer there. And honestly, by and honestly, and I'm gonna have to say this one more time, and I'm gonna say this part, by having her still on working at net, working at G4, having Frost still there proves that G4 is officially dead. It's just nothing. It, it's just nothing more than a rotting fucking corpse, just swimming around until it until it dies a dies again, and no and no resurrection. Either is gonna is gonna bring it back. No one up mushrooms or Phoenix Downs. It's just gonna stay dead. But hey, man. All I can say before I end this is this: where wokeness goes, brokenness is sure to fucking follow. But I just wanna put this out there because I feel like it seems like really important and whatnot, and, uh, and, you know, but I would like to know what you think on this. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, 
picked a notification bell so you don't miss out on updates and friends that never saves to others. And that's about it. Until next time, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Sound Sky Two, signing off. Thank you for watching this video, it really means a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Peace.